right. Hey, you see what we do up around here, though. Oh, yeah. All right, brother, Hebrew Israelites, we come out week in and week out. The prophet side gets his wicked kingdom and to the seal the elect. I want to say, first of all, first and foremost, all praise to Kyle Allah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the brothers out there doing the work. Uh, in sincerity and, and in truth, man. Like I said, man, we're out here to prophesy against this book of kingdom, Babylon, man. They seal the elect, man. Once the elect is sealed, man, we can get the hell up out of this old polluted place, man. Uh, and we out here downtown, man. Shit. Jake, you know. They got the little rodeo coming down, man, in Houston, man. And it's, and it's funny, man, because you see, niggas, niggas that ain't never put on boots and cowboy hats in the last 360 days, they got the damn cowboy hat on and their boots on now, you know? Saying they ain't league with Esau, you know what I'm saying? And they gonna, they, gonna, they gonna come together, they gonna eat and drink together and be married together, but after the rodeo is over with, they gonna go back to being niggas, they gonna go back to being uh, crackers, bro. They not gonna fuck with each other, bro. But just in the spirit of folly and entertainment, we 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 all we all cowboys and, and, and stuff now, man. Really, that's just a big, it's a money making scheme for Esau. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, not gonna benefit off, off of it. You know what I'm saying? And plus, it's a distraction, man. We we on we on the edge of World War Three, man. Mm. And man, they sharpening their swords right now, man. All these other countries, bro, they ready, man. They ready to drop a bomb on, on your so-called America. Y'all out here in the rodeo spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? So what's wrong with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Anything to fit in with Esau, huh? Anything to be joined in hand in hand. Anything to feel like, get that old false happy, happy feelings, man. Like, uh, that's why niggas love that, that song by Frank and Beverly Mays, Happy Feelings, man. Because they give you a false, a false sense of, of, of pride and safety, man. When this, 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 man, this stuff, man, it's just a rap out here, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And little do you realize also. Yeah, so brother. Yeah. Little, little do you realize also, the, who you're going to call Jesus. His real name is Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, deliverer of Israel. He on his way back. And he coming back with a sword, man, to destroy all of this, man. You know what I'm saying? The fan is a fan for the third world. And when our Lord and Savior have a shot come back, man, he coming by to put, to put the icing on the cake, man. To destroy this wicked ass place, man. And, and all the habits, all the inhabitants thereof. Just go ahead, what you got, bro? Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity, and, and, and the rich sit in no place. Just like the brother was bringing out, man. This goddamn parade and, and, and rodeo shit, it's all fun, but it's set in high place when really your mind needs to be concerned about these scriptures, right, man. Right, right. And measuring the time diligent, right. like you said in Ezra. That's man. right, that's right. But these, these damn land brains thinking about that, man, no. they measuring the time diligent. Right. You know? Right. I'm sorry, but that threw me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready for that one, bro. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that one, bro. I don't know if you eat them right or what. Shalom. That threw me off. I wasn't ready for that one. Straight up, bro. I'm looking at him trying to see, you know, to see what he was. But I mean, you know, hey, bro. If if he is a case off, bro, I mean, he know who the real who the real Israelites are, man. They fucking know, man. You know what I'm saying? Because most of them they'll come by here and scoff. He could be shalom, you know? Hey, bro, with a calm yeah, demeanor, yeah. but like he know. You know what I'm saying? Like he know if he get out of line, shit, hey, bro. The call we have about him, y'all shot. Gonna get up on his ass, <laughs> which, which he will. You know? Yeah, that threw me out, but yeah. I wouldn't. Right. If he is either my bro, shit it, bro. For the most high let, let it be my slave, shit, I'll I'ma give him an extra bone right before the Sabbath, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'ma throw him an extra backbone, the tail part of the chicken. Down down in this pit, man. So he can, you know, that this whole thing. Man. Yeah, one more time, brother. Pop it to shot. Okay. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. Right. Folly is great dignity, bro. They, bro, they, hey, man, they come to this shit with great, great, great pride, man. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, these cats walk around here, man. Hey, bro, these cats ain't even got, man, they ain't got, don't even have an acre of land, don't own a horse, don't have a chicken or cow, but yeah, y'all niggas is cowboys today, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, Jake is completely bogged out of their fucking mind, man. But just know that all this is coming to an end, man. This is gonna be destroyed real, real soon, man. You know what I'm saying? It can't come soon enough, man. We hasten the day, man. Because all of this is just a big distraction, a big distraction, man, from, where, from what's really going on, man. Like I said, we're on the brink of the world war, man. You know what I'm saying? Martial law is right around the corner. Shit, the chip is right around the corner. No, the chip is here. Shit, the chip is here. Shit, martial law is here on a, on a low stakes a lot. Shit, martial law is here on a, on a low stakes. They just ready to, to turn that old dial up, man. You know what I'm saying? They can they get ready to turn it up, man. Cause I think, man, Obama had did, did like a little speech the other day, and he was saying like shit. He was saying it in a joking manner, but he was like, I'll veto anything that that come against me. Anything that I want to pass. Anything that I'm trying to implement, he said he gonna veto it, man. You know what I'm saying? He said it in a joking manner, but man, he was dead serious, man. These devils about to show their horns, man. And about to come all out, man. And do and do they and do their thing, man. Uh, I don't know if they passed that bill to uh, press on to basically finance the DH uh, the Department of Homeland Security. But they basically on the brink where, you know, they gonna have to furlough the workers. And they had to do that by midnight. I, you know, I wasn't thinking about it till now, so I ain't get a chance to look it up. You know, I'm going to go ahead and look that up and see if they did it. Was midnight last night? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. If they didn't do that, you know, your TSA workers, y'all weren't gonna get paid. Y'all gotta work for no pay. You know, because the Republicans and the, and the Democrats are going back and forth, which is all just a damn sideshow. show. They right. know, they, they know what they're doing. Right. They, they, nobody gonna get paid. They did the same thing last year with the IRS. The chick I used to deal with, she worked with the IRS. They didn't get paid for about three weeks. You know, they couldn't work. At the end, they reimbursed them back pay and all that, but it's gonna come a time where this shit is gonna start to increase and y'all just ain't gonna get paid at all. That's right. You know? Damn, bro. What you gonna do then? Who you gonna call on then? Cause you, I bet you, you Negroes and Latinos, they America, you knew you usually run to the, your FEMA, or your, your so-called government or whatever for help. This is your government failing, man. So who the who the hell you gonna who the hell you gonna go to then, man? Who you gonna call upon, man? But I'm pretty sure y'all got a, a nice choice of, of, of guards and items you're gonna choose. Buddha, Allah, Shit Krishna, uh, the Mother Mary. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like the scripture say, the Lord say, and in day of calamity, man, call upon them, man. And see and see if they save you, man. See if they gon' they gon' come to your rescue. You was holding something, brother? Yeah. Just Go ahead, bro. Pretty asking three. Read up a little louder, bro. This is pretty asking three. To everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose That's under right. under the, under under the heaven. That's right. A time to be born and a time to, to die and a time to plant and a time to pluck up up that which is planted. It's a time and a season for everything. That's right. Man. There's a balance with everything. Right. There ain't always a time to plant. There's come time you plant, there's a time when you reap. That's right. Plant. That's right. You know? That's right. Go ahead, huh? A time to kill, a time to heal. Did I hear that? The Bible said there's a time to kill. You know, there's a time to kill, and we, we in that time now. We coming in that time, there's going to be a lot of killing out here. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> you know? Right here. Yeah. You don't want to hear that, but no, thou shalt not. <laughs> they don't understand the scripture that is murder, thou shalt not murder. Right. But there's a time to kill, like that Stephen Chagall stated. <laughs> right, right. Shit, you have a shot. He yeah. coming back with a sword, man. And he not finna knight you. Oh, that knight. He finna cut your damn head off, man. It's gonna be blood and guts in the streets, man. Go ahead, brother. It's a lot. The time to kill. Down and it's time to build up. Time to break down, you know, there's a time.
time when we got broke down as a nation, man. Right. It's a time, we're in the time of rebuilding right now. That's right. You know, the nation of Israel is being rebuilt right, right. before y'all eyes, That's right. Man. That's right. Like you said, it's balanced. That's what this whole Ecclesiastes third chapter is going into. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 3. Verse 4. A time to weep. A time to laugh. See, there's a time to weep and there's a time to laugh. That's right. You know, like the brother was saying, y'all had a party. Yes, it's sometimes a party, but we got even time for partying, man. Y'all hell is about to break through, so y'all partying like it ain't nothing. Right. This is a time y'all need to be weeping to the most high. That's man. right. That's Asking right. for mercy and forgiveness. That's right. That's the spirit y'all need to be in. That's right. Go ahead. Begging for it. Yeah. Time to begging weep, for it. Go ahead, brother. A time to laugh, a time to mourn. Time to dance. Time to mourn and the time to dance. You know, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't for the Israelites, man, the time to dance ain't gonna be until the kingdom comes. That's right. All oh, that shit's out the door. We in mourning. You said, you said, you said Jeremiah, Judah mourning. Right. And the gates there are blank. That's right. right. What the hell, the, so an uh, Israelite man, you got, you got to be laughing about in this kingdom. Right, right? that's right, man. You got that woman ruling over. Right. You at the bottom of the barrel. Right. Down at the bottom of the status quo. Right. You know, your women look down on you. Right. You barely keep a job, man. Right. You barely pay your bills. Right. Oppressed. What the hell you got to be happy about? Right. What the hell you doing running around with a damn cowboy hat and boots on with a American flag on? Hey, bro. I can't figure that out, bro. I have no answer for that one, bro. That don't make no damn, no damn sense, man. Because any, any other nation, bro, they gonna, hey man, they gonna rise up from the oppression, man. But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you basking in it, man. You love it, man. Go ahead, brother. Ecclesiastes 3 and 5. A time to cast away stone and a time to gather stone. Together a time to em embrace and a time to re remain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Time to, you know, basically, just, you know, the scripture, that's just wisdom right there, man. Ecclesiastes, meaning balance and everything. The brothers living their life, man, you gotta have balance, man. You can't be all one sided. Doing one thing, you know, nine, you know, hundred percent, and not doing the other. You know, it's a balance with everything, man. You know, yeah, you got your your, your, your spare time where you get to chill, do whatever the hell you do. You know, just do what you want, and shit, play the video game, whoever the hell you want. But you gotta have balance in studying this, this stuff too, man. Getting the scriptures, giving the Most High His time. For the hell, man. That's for me and you. That's for every brother, man. You know? Balance. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. That's the, be that's the beautiful part right yeah, there. There's a time for war, man. And a time for peace, man. Right now it's war. Ain't no peace going on, man. Ain't no peace. The most high what is that? What's that? Uh, Proverbs 28. No peace until the wicked. Man. Love black people, bro. You don't love black you people. You love black people? Hey, you, you, so, so, you, you, if you love us, then you know what happened to us. So you, 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 bad. you feel bad about slavery and all that that, that happened to us? How, what do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? You know, just be honest, man. Just be honest, man. Honestly? Yeah, just yeah. be honest, man. We men up here. You're, not, you're yeah. not going to offend me at all, but come with the all real. Right. How about this? Aristotle said that some people were born to be slaves. Now, while I can't disagree with that, I don't believe in slavery because I don't see one fit to be masters. Well, there, 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 there is slavery in, in, in the Bible, man. There is slavery in the Bible, and, and uh, there, there's a certain way you're supposed to deal with your slaves. And and not and the way that we were dealt with by our slave masters, it wasn't according to the scriptures, man. But there is slavery in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not a awful thing. But I'm gonna ask you again, bro. What what, what do you feel about the so-called Negro here in America and how your people 
treat us, man. What, what do you feel about that, man? Because that's, 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 that's how y'all prospered, man. That's how y'all... That's how y'all made it in this land, man. Off our backs to the so-called Negroes, so-called Negroes, right. so-called uh, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans. How do you feel about that, man? I feel like... You think it was just? I feel like it's ignoring the point. As long as it can separate us, the enemy's not God's job done, you know what I mean? Who's the enemy? Who's the enemy of God? What do you think, bro? Tell me, who you think? I'm asking you. We having a discussion. What you can see is only a reflection of what you cannot see. So any kind of hatred that divides us is what we can't see. It's what's providing it. Okay, well, let me hit you with this, man. I see you're trying to get philosophical and, you know, Aristotle and, and things like that, man. Which is cool. That's, yeah, how, that's yeah. how Esau do. You know what I'm saying? That's how Esau do, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is about, about just recompense and, and balance, man. Yeah. You, you believe it? You believe in the, the God of the Bible? Balance? Yeah, you believe in the God of the Bible? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well, let me let me read something to you, man. Just give me your honest opinion about it, man. Yes, yes. This is Revelation 13 and 10. Yes. It reads, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. What, what do you... What do you think about that, man? I think we can be captive in our own minds, and we can be led captive by things that you cannot see, yet here we are talking. I think this is a coincidence. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. That's not a coincidence. This is uh, Job chapter 21, verse, verse 19. God led up his iniquity for his children. He rewarded them, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction. He shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. It's Isaiah 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So, so what you're saying is, because of what people that I never met and that you never met did way back sometime that we can't change. God's going to deliver. One more time, Bob. Uh, One more time, brother. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Prepare slaughter for his children. Right, for his children. Go ahead, brother. For the iniquity of their fathers. Right, for the iniquities of their fathers, for the sins of their father. The Lord requires that which is past, man. The Lord is about balance. Right. Lord is about payback, man. You see what I'm saying? So he said, prepare slaughter for his children, for the sins of their fathers, man. Aren't we both his children? Haven't both our fathers screwed up a lot? But who is your father and who is our father? Him. Now, your father is Esau. He's Esau, man. Our father is Jacob. That's right. You Wait see what I'm a saying? second. And the Edomites, the Edomites have his. As man, he did everything possible to the so-called Negro, man. To the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know that? Which is known as Israel. It's right here in the scriptures, man. How do you think, man? You, wait, what planet you play? What? Okay. Obviously, you, you just dropped off Jupiter or Saturn, bro. You don't know the history of America, bro? How did America get here, bro? How did America get founded, man? A couple guys. A couple of heart. guys? A couple of guys know a, a, a league, a nation of murderers and thieves and devils came over here with a murderous heart and vile intentions and slaughtered the Native American Indians, man. And, 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 and set up. All of them? And set up. All of them? That's your buddy? Huh? That's your buddy? I thought he was talking to you. He was so loud to penetrate. Oh, man. You know that soccer teams do? Right, bro. But it's a Hey, bro, one more time, Baba Kasha. Please, yeah. Prepare slaughter for his children, slaughter. for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Go ahead, brother. Like you said, prepare slaughter for his children, man. That's you, that's you regardless of this. You ask white people about slavery, they be like, that wasn't me. My forefather was Irish. He was an immigrant. Yeah. He didn't have nothing to do with well, that. Well, you're saying it's more a genetic thing. It doesn't matter. It, it don't matter because this is all God's will. We didn't have a choice in going into slavery. Right. Well, we kind of had a choice, and we went off, and our punishment was to be put in slavery. But don't you think the only freedom that anyone can find is the radical love of Jesus Christ? Does it say that in there, too? The radical love of Jesus Christ.